Hi students! Today we're going to be learning how to craft an appropriate professional email. Since we're doing a lot of virtual learning this year, you'll be sending emails to your teachers with your questions. I want to make sure that you're sending emails that are formatted correctly and that are clearly communicating what you need. This lesson will be broken into two videos, so let's take a look at the content of video one. The first thing you're going to do is make sure you have the Gmail app downloaded to your iPad. This is the Gmail icon. Next, you're going to log in to your school-issued Gmail email account. Your username is your first name dot last name at go-efsd.net and your password is the first three letters of your last name, followed by your student ID number. Please make sure the first letter of your last name is capitalized. All right, so once you've logged into your Gmail app, you're ready to compose an email. You can start your own email by clicking the Compose button in the bottom right-hand corner. The first suggestion I always have for students is to skip putting in the to or the recipient email until the email is completely done. That way you don't accidentally send an email while you're still typing it. This section here of the email is the subject line. I've often had students write entire emails in the subject line and I also often have students who don't write anything in the subject line at all. The subject line is where you should be putting a tiny brief description of what your concern is or why you're sending the email. So we're going to be crafting a practice email together. Everyone's is going to look very similar. And so in the subject line for today for our practice email, you're going to put getting to know me. You're going to be composing an email that is appropriate, that is formatted correctly, and that tells me a little bit about yourself today. Um, we're not going to be sending them quite yet because in video two, you're going to learn how to create an attachment and put it within the email. So that will be um, the second part that we're doing tomorrow. We will not send the email yet until the attachment is in there. Okay. So the first part of an email should be the salutation. A salutation is a short greeting. So make sure that your greeting is appropriate and it's friendly. You can type whatever you want there. Um, you can put your recipient's name there. So you could say, hello, Miss Betts, comma, um, just make sure if you're using your recipient's name that you're spelling it correctly. Okay, the first thing you wanna do in your email body is explain why you're emailing. So we could say something like, I am emailing you today to tell you a little bit about myself. Okay. We're also gonna talk about breaking paragraphs by idea. So since this is just telling us why we're sending the email and now we're going to craft some content, we're going to hit the return button twice. So for organizational purposes, we're gonna have two paragraphs in our email that we're sending. So our first paragraph is we're gonna start with a little introduction that's all centered around school. So, I'm going to have you start with, my name is, okay, you want to make sure that the recipient of the email knows who it is that's emailing him or her. Now, you're actually filling this in. I'm going to be putting lines here for placeholders for sections where you're filling in your own content. So, I hope you put, my name is comma, but my friends and family call me blank. Um, here I'm going to have you put in any name that you want to be called um, by in class. 
um, or any nickname that you might have that we could use while we're creating lessons that's, that are about you guys. So that will be fun. Um, I want to know what you're most excited for this year. So let's put that next. I'm most excited this year for blank, comma. Um, when you're crafting emails, you want to make sure that you're using complete sentences and that you're not abbreviating any words. Um, these are professional emails that you're sending to your teachers. So you want to make sure it doesn't look like a text message, but it looks like a well-crafted um, piece of text. So I also want to know something that you're nervous about this year. So let's put, but something... get into the actual class. Um, we're typing this for language arts, so let's reflect a little bit about that. So why don't you tell me your favorite thing about language arts? Again, you can have the same sentence starters in your emails, but you're filling in your personal information in those blanks. What's something that you really want to do in class this year? And let's do one more line and think about what you are excited about for the high school next year. Okay, so now we have our first body paragraph of our email. Um, we're going to type one more together just to show some organization of thoughts. So now we're going to go from things in the class, things in school, to things outside of school. So this second paragraph is going to talk about your interests outside of school, who you like to spend time with, some goals that you have outside of school, um, things like that. So let's start with your favorite activities. Outside of school, my favorite activities are, let's list a couple here, let's do three. Oftentimes we'll play music in class when we're workshopping, so I like to know what your favorite music is. I also make activities that are tailored to your interests, so oftentimes I theme grammar activities on movies. So. Let's do when I'm in the mood to watch a movie, I always choose what? And who do you spend most of your time with? could be a pet of yours, a best friend, a sibling. And let's do three more. A personal goal of mine is blank. This could be um, school-based or not school-based. So if it's something outside of school, I want to know about it. 
What is your skill? What are you really good at? And then go ahead and add anything that you would like to share with me. Like those transition words, finally. Okay, so this is our second body paragraph. So when you're sending an email to a teacher, if you have multiple thoughts and multiple questions, you wanna organize it in a way that they're chunked and grouped together. Okay, so the last piece of an email is your signature. So for this, you're going to do something close to the salutation where you're basically saying goodbye at the end of the letter. So um, we often use sincerely, or you could use thank you if you're asking for assistance. Okay, then you put your name there next. I really do often have students that send emails and their name isn't even on it. Um, so if you want a response and you want your teacher to know who was sending the email, it's extremely important that you put your name there. Um, it's also very important that you are using your go-efsd.net email because if you're using a personal email, most likely your name is not attached to that personal email. And when you are using a signature, um, or if you're not using a signature and your name's not listed there, then we definitely don't know who you are. And the last piece under your name in the signature is going to be um, a tag. And that's something that talks about um, your profession or your job or um, an organization that you're a part of. So for this, I want you to put a student who, and then you fill in the blank here, a student who is excited for this year, a student who loves playing soccer, a student whose favorite food is Chick-fil-A. Uh, you get to put whatever you want there. So this is what your email should look like after video one. Just to review, you did not yet put in a recipient, a two. We keep that out because we don't wanna accidentally send an email before we're done crafting it. In the from, you should have your school issued Gmail email account. In the subject title, you should have something that is describing the main idea of your email. So here we're putting getting to know me. Next, we have our salutation. You could say good morning, hello, or you could address your recipient. Next, we have the body of the email, and this is organized into paragraphs that are all on the same topic or thought. And finally, we have the signature, which is sincerely or thank you and your name. Under your name, you will have a tag, and this is you basically labeling either uh, an organization that you're in or a club that you're in, or um, later on in life, uh, it would be your job title, so we're putting a placeholder there that says a student who and filling in the blank. Now you are not sending this. We are saving it and tomorrow for video two, you guys will be crafting an attachment. And I wanna teach you how to do this appropriately so that if you're working on something and you're having an issue, you can screenshot the issue and attach it so that you can send it to your teacher and we can see what you're seeing. So again, please don't send this yet. Um, if you click on the X button, you will see it says draft saved. So tomorrow we'll go over here and we'll click on drafts and getting to know me is right here. So you can close out and it will save in your drafts. And I'll see you in video two tomorrow.